I've had the issue that when I start, let's start the game, and I pick a hero, and then I kill these units, they drop a crystal, and they miss their top part of the sprite. Like the top part of the sprite is gone. It looks deformed, and uh, right now it also looks deformed. It, it does not look like straight pixel art. It's like a little bend in here if you look at these things, which is fucking terrible. I hate it. Okay. And so someone posted a fix for that. This guy says it's not shit, and he has a fix for that. Let's see, what did he do? So let me quickly go over the changes and what I did originally to explain a little bit about what happened. Originally, I created the vertices for a quad. So the top left, bottom left, top right and bottom right in the shader. And I would basically take in a position and a size of a quad and then calculate these positions. After that, I would normalize the position to device coordinates. So in case you didn't know, in OpenGL and in any other graphics library, you have normalized device coordinates. And those coordinates, for example, in Vulkan, go from minus minus one to one one. So from top left, minus one minus one to one one on the bottom right. In OpenGL, that is the same, except for the Y coordinate. That is inverted, meaning that one is at the top, for the y coordinate and minus one is at the bottom and so that's what i'm doing in my shader i'm basically normalizing these device coordinates and i make sure that the y position is also calculated properly and so these coordinates with that are now normalized take in an atlas offset it means that i have one singular texture and if i want to draw this crystal right here i would have to supply the offset and you could see that at the bottom left here 96 128 and a size of 16 by 16 because that's a 16 by 16 quad the entire thing and so what i did here is uh, this just basically flipping inverting a sprite making it look uh, left to right or right to left and so what i did before was calculate a coordinate offset of around 0.5 so i was playing around with these values but basically what that did was OpenGL for some reason would sometimes skip an entire pixel or draw an entire pixel that was not in my 16 by 16 quad. So for example, if I had, I don't know, a sprite that started over here, it would sometimes draw parts of this sprite, even though I was only interested in drawing this rectangle. That caused a bunch of visual bugs and made the game look like shit actually i hated it and so the solution to that was back then to add in a coordinate offset and that kind of worked it never really worked a hundred percent let's use a texture that is easier like i tested it with this one this crystal right here so we start off at 16 and 0 and we have a size of 16 pixels width and a 16 pixel height as well it would sometimes draw this white line and what we figured out was that it sometimes would supply 16 plus 16 which would equal to 32 but instead of 32 as far as i understood back then uh, opgl the middle of a coordinate if we start over here the top left which in my mind would be zero zero the position zero zero the middle of this pixel is 0.5.5 and this is where everything like fell apart like so over over here we start off at 16 we add in 16 we are at 32 at this position it's like it started going over for some reason it, it would draw this this white line to the crystal and that looked terrible and so back then uh, we noticed that okay so if we take this 31.5 or almost 32 here and we remove 0.5 from that uv coordinate and then round that down or up depending on what we need it would instead of choose the 32nd pixel it would choose the 31st pixel and therefore the line over here disappeared but it now started to deform a perfectly drawn crystal and made this this line basically deformed it like that and it looked terrible i, I had uh, you can you can't really see it but oh god so this guy posted a fix to that which basically was 
to remove this coordinate offset in the shader. I would only take in the texture coordinates per se, which is what I had before. But the difference now comes in later where I did a huge mistake, which is scale pixel art by 1.5 pixels. And so he wrote a nice current comment here. Pixel drawing with texel fetch can't use a size of 1.5 here. If you want to support that, you need to switch from using texture or you need to switch to using texture in the shader instead. Uh, currently, if you noticed, I'm using a texel fetch mechanism, which basically takes in tex texture coordinates. So usually if you have a texture, you would start with coordinates 0, 0, UV coordinates and go down to 1, 1, basically 0% and 100%. And so in the face of this atlas, it would mean top left would be 0% and bottom right, which is 1000 to 1000, would be 100%. And so if I wanted to get the exact position of this crystal, I would need to calculate the UV coordinates of the top left was 96 and 128 in relation to the entire texture size, which would be a small value and gives me a floating point. I have tried using that in the past, but I realized that I got the same issue that I was talking about before. Like it would sometimes blend other pixels in other than just the the quad that I was interested in. And so I started using Texel Fetch because Texel Fetch actually uses coordinates. But I suppose the problem was that I was scaling it by 1.5 instead of by 0.2 or 2.0. And I don't know 100% why that is, but it seems like if you don't scale pixel art properly, the fragment shader, at least in OpenGL, doesn't like it too much. It starts to deform your pixel art and it becomes weird. It looks weird. And that was basically the entire fix. I still think it's bullshit. Uh, I don't understand the problem 100%. The more I learn about the problem, the more I think it does not make any sense. If I have another update to this, I will share it with you guys. Sorry, I didn't do a stream today. I just did not have the time. I barely get this video done. I hope it's somewhat informative about the whole pixel art situation. And then tomorrow we're going to go back to making more content for the game. I hope you like it. Uh, so until then, see you tomorrow. Peace.